Welcome, it's yeah. Friday morning TGIF! Yes, the first Friday in the month of December. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. And of course, uh, there's a smile on our faces because yeah. uh, it's one language of expression that is universal as much as football, <laughs> music also, quite a number of things. But hey, come on! Mm -hmm. uh, whether you're African, your whether you're not so African, you know, wherever you're from, having a great smile on your face, especially on a Friday like this, is really universal. You need to smile at someone. Put a smile on your face, mm -hmm. no matter the condition. Yes. Hey. Well, some conditions you don't need to smile, but hey, come on. <laughs> Uh, we have a fully loaded show for you today mm. and we are ready to make uh, that show memorable for you. Speaking of fully loaded, uh -huh, there's someone that is definitely fully loaded for us this morning. Princess Amwalika is mm. in the house. <laughs> <laughs> the one and only M.M. Okoche is in the kitchen. And Chef Alex. Natura. Mm -hmm. mm. Chef Natura, huh? Mm. Fresh. How you do? It's been a while. No, I think I was around the other time. Oh, oh right, all oh, right. Oh, oh. Um, how are you ladies doing? Ladies. Including Mike. Wow. Mm. The ladies okay. are doing very fine. <laughs> they are. But we are set to have a wonderful, wonderful show today. Oh, quite a number of things are happening mm. today. Of mm. course, uh, Bella Ciao. We'll talk about all of that later. Ooh. But then, hey, come on. Uh, remember that you uh, can tune in. It's at tvcentertainment.tv to watch us live. Of course, that's on our website. And also on Facebook, it's at TVC Connect. Yeah, using that hashtag is really important so we can mm. see all your messages. But you can also watch us live from anywhere across the world. You can uh, see this marvelous leather jacket mm. from the palm of your hand. Just mm. go to the iOS or Android store and get that app at TVC Connect. Okay, uh, this morning we'll kick off uh, with the news on the silver screen screen of course yeah. we have uh, Daniels uh, he's a compare he's a comedian of course uh, a lot of the games as some might call him we will be having a discussion with him on the show today I rarely yeah. almost don't get to be a fanboy but today I might be a little bit just a wow. tiny little bit of a fanboy okay you do by me is in the house wow. the quintessential Nigerian documentary filmmaker mm -hmm. screenwriter cinematographer director mm. producer who is behind a whole lot of notable works such as Tinsel Mama puts Morocco, Battleground, and so much more. Yeah. We're going to be having a discussion with him. Which bag? Yeah. Mm. Amazing icon there. Guys. Yeah. Femi. Mm -hmm. You see that yeah. scene? Yeah. Which one? Which one? That's okay. the, the scene. chase, yeah? I just witnessed it this morning. Where? Really? Where was that? In traffic. Just as I was come, as you're approaching K2. Mm. So there was a bit of traffic. It was moving though. So the thing is, I saw these guys, two of them, very unassuming looking young um, men, yeah. They were quite, they were on the lane I was at, and the next thing I saw them cross, so I saw that they were all over the place, they were observing. Mm. Next thing, these guys crossed to the other lane, mm. and before you knew it, I saw when the guy put his hand wow. into the car okay. wow. of um, a driver, yeah. took a phone and ran. Took off, yeah. Wow. And then so, the other one followed him, and then the man immediately came out of his car and chased them. No way. That was risky. Wow. I mean, that, was, that was very risky for the man. Yes. It was very it was risky. Very so this has this mm. same scenario, mm. along that same place has happened to me, but I was in a public bus. Mm. This was maybe like seven, eight years back. Mm. I was watching a movie on my tab and all of that. Oh, no. Oh, no. He moved for, for, it. But Go I on. got the tab back. You're surprised how it was a whole, a whole story. Mm. I got the tab back. How? I did. Um, how did it happen? Mm. I, I think he had a number on it. Mm. He had a phone number on it. Mm. So when the guy took off, yeah. I think a policeman or, or yeah. around yeah. there saw him take off and then released the bullet into the air. Wow. And then, due to fear, the guy he, dropped it. He dropped it and, and took moved. off. Wow. And so they picked it. So I had to call. I went to Area F to pick it. Goodness so me. So it, it has happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was like, it was like a movie. It, so, so, it was like, you know when Rapture has happened? <laughs> Reverse Rapture, I'm telling so, you. It was uh, a very funny honestly, experience. Honestly, so no windows down yeah. whenever you're in traffic, especially if you're on the road. Yeah, but what if windows you don't have AC? Up. What if your AC is working? Up. The sweat will not you know, kill you. I, I'm telling you, <laughs> and as much as possible, this, this is me. Uh, this is me. This is my personal affinity. I, I do as much as possible to avoid traffic, yeah. even if it's late. Yeah. Because, you know, almost all the stories you hear yeah. about yeah, our no traffic. Pleasant ones. So I, I move either very early in the morning yeah. or very, very late. You'll be surprised that there are sometimes I leave where I am by 12, 1 o'clock. Just so I that do you it. Won't go Just so traffic. I don't want to get into 7, 8, 9. I don't like being on the roads at that time. 
Mm. I do I, agree, I agree with you. Crazy, and, you know, so uh, it, it depends on you. You have to be careful mm. because even at that time, yeah. there's stuff on you. You don't have to fly and all of that. But please do be careful. And you've also heard of you know traffic robberies that now that they you know smash. They smash your glasses. Now. Yes, they smash your that, glasses. So, yeah. um, but there there are some companies that I, I'll post it on my page that have um, shatterproof film you can okay. install on you your install. glass that can't just quickly be shattered. So even if they try but to, then, it would take a long time. That would time. cost a lot, doesn't no, it? No, not, not too bad. Trust not me. Not too much. Trust me. Don't worry, I'm the plug. You can hit it to your phone for another. But before we move, <laughs> we have to mention Princess Amulika. Uh huh. <laughs> This so, is, so today is a TVC, is TVC staff party. <laughs> it's important to note that, yes, TVC, so TVC that everyone doesn't staff think it's party. my birthday all over again. And the again. theme is no, it's, Ankara. It's not right? important to note it. You <laughs> wear, <laughs> wear it with your chest. Wow. This is no, what yeah, you no. want today. Of course, no. of course. <laughs> of course. So I'm already not this, anything. I mean... I don't this think is anyone in this organization would have expected me to come any less. Oh, oh this exactly. What like? This is MM we're talking about. Excuse me. Thank what you. did you expect? Thank you, Mel. It is beautiful. All right. So we're starting in the kitchen this morning because there's a lot to do. And we have the one, the only, Chef Natural. Welcome. Cabo. Cabo. <laughs> Let's go. We have something Excellent. sweet to prepare today. Yeah. Tell us the name. Tell us the name. Tell us the name. Yeah. Today we're making seafood for you. Nature seafood for you. Nature seafood for you. And the ingredients include, let's, maybe we should start with the seafood. What do you think? Yeah, right. we have the crabs, yeah, the snail, prawns, mm -hmm. fish. Mm -hmm. I don't want the continental but, side to take everything. Okay. So now the fish is the normal because okay. it's a for you. So the fish is the normal, our own fish. We our have round fish, fish. Have Yeah, we have pomo. But we have spinach. So spinach, instead of, the normal um, what they call it, shoko. Or oh, the green, yeah. All right, all right. So spinach is like premium. Yeah, it's like, like premium it's for you. We are making for us we are, today. We are making a classic for you here. All right, so all we have right. to use a premium. Okay. So I like the fact that we have crab here. Yeah, no, you know, this food, mm. one good thing about this food is, they say when you're getting old, you mm. need to take, you need to be careful of the red beef. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I'm trying to, that's why I'm, I try to create this food. So I'm like, okay, okay, we're not using the red beef here. So I'm using the crab, the seafood, yeah. the crab stock Okay. is what I'm going to use to make it. So now we're of not which? using no red beef. So crab stock is actually quite yeah, strong yeah, and very yeah, flavorful. Yeah, it's very, very... All right. Know. We, of course, have pepper here. Yeah. Uh, we have the normal uh, the scotch normal, bonnet yeah. uh, and uh, tatashi. Then onions. Yeah. But let's talk a bit about what's on this plate right here. Yeah, here we have the local beans. Mm -hmm. The local beans, that's the hero mm -hmm. for the normal and for hero feel. Yeah. We have the crayfish. Yeah. The crayfish is going to give it a richer feel. Yeah. You know, I'm going to blend that together with the pepper. Okay. And I have my matched garlic. Okay. I'm going to marinate, use Eat. that to marinate the crab. Crab. To Amazing. Get, to extract the little Amazing. stock. And now, this is the oyster sauce. Oyster sauce? Yeah, it so, brings out the seafood mm, feeling okay, when you okay, okay. get your... When Honestly, you're your I can't even right wait. Uh, there's so many mixed flavors here. I can't wait to see how you mix them all together. But for those of you who want to try this at home, it looks like a journey, right? Uh, it looks like a journey. Don't worry. Just look at the list of the ingredients and see if you can create something like this at home. Maybe this weekend. Maybe it might be a classic yeah, yourself. So let's, let me just go over it now. We have fish, round fish. We have snail. We have shrimp. Prawn. We have prawn, rather. Prawn. Uh, we have crab. Then we have crayfish. We have ginger, or rather no, garlic. English garlic. Much English garlic. All right. Locust then we have beans. locust beans, oyster sauce. And uh, did I forget anything? Spinach. How could I forget the spinach? We have, of course, pomo and palm oil. Those are the things you need if you want to make something like this at home. So what do we do first, chef? Get the stock, blend right. the pepper. All right. Let's get rolling. All right. So let me help you put on the heat here. Yeah. And one thing we didn't mention yeah. is this kind of, mm. the case can be enjoyed with different, you can enjoy with rice. Yeah. You can do like Dino Milai if you like. You can do the <laughs> spaghetti. Yeah, 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 for yeah, you. yeah. So yeah. you can do the same. Yeah. But because it's morning, it's breakfast now. So we're going to do the unripe plantain. 
Makes sense. So we're just going to boil this at the other side. Beautiful. So. Unripe plantain makes so much sense. I can't wait. So we're going to get started by parboiling the crab and doing some other things. And while we do this, go and check in your kitchen and see if you have some of these ingredients. Maybe you'll be able to show us a quick video of yours. Just make sure you use our hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. We have to go on a quick break, but we will be back. Stay with us. And we are back. Now it's time for us to go through the front pages of the newspaper. And we are starting off with the Daily Times this morning. Making the headlines here, we have Nigeria's security trauma will be over soon, says Oshibajo. And says, um, breakup not solution to nation's problem. And that's it on the cover of the Daily Times. Next up, we have the Daily Independent. And making the headlines here, on the 2023 presidential election, choosing PDP candidates will be turbulent, says Governor Wiki. On the right, though, he alleges plan by APC to rig 2023 elections. And also here we have Lockheed Benedion from my dog, Governor Lucy's mother. And that's it on the Daily Independent. Next up, we move on to the Daily Trust. Making the headlines here, excuse me, on Omicron. Crude oil drops below $70 as travel ban threatens recovery. And on the rider here, restrictions will affect, will affect Nigeria's economy, says experts. And aviation sector at risk, says IATA. And um, at the bottom of the paper here, we have 2022 and an NPC plans essentials census in security risk areas. And that's it on the front page this morning. All right mm. then. Time to wake myself up mm -hmm. with some three in one. Yes. Coffee things. Mm. Very nice one. At yeah, this point, we're hoping we can make sure yeah. that everyone has a great movie or series to watch. Mm -hmm. Over mm. the weekend. Or even yeah. over the holidays. But honestly, actually, someone actually told me that whenever they wait for our recommendations on Friday. Oh, they do? Before they go online to go and see what they do. You like coffee a lot, yeah? yeah. You, have you ever taken coffee in the cinema? Uh, <laughs> funny enough. Because I know you like it. I know you're, you're a coffee person. Or at one point in your life, you used to be a very, very. I am actually a. Honestly, I'm a coffee connoisseur. Okay. I, I've oh, how can tasted I forget? different coffee from all over the world. Yes, oh, wow. Titi actually yeah. is. I like that. Yes. I, like that. Then I, I still remember when I went, went to the Brazilian embassy and they had yeah. the coffee day and all of that. Yeah. So coffee is always yeah. a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back to the Wake Up Nigeria kitchen. We have Chef Natura giving us this very different version of Eforiro here. Some seafood Eforiro going down. We have had some amazing ingredients on display. And if you missed them, uh, we had some pomo here. We have crab here. We had some unripe plantain here. Then uh, panla fish, right? Uh, the round dried fish, fish, dried fish. And we still have quite a few here as well. Um, so are you steaming this with the yeah, pepper? Just trying, yeah, we, we blend the crayfish with yeah. the pepper. Yeah. So we need to take the time to let it steam together okay. with the crab, okay. with okay. the stock, mm -hmm. with the English garlic. Mm. So we need to stir fry this separately. That's okay. why I'm going to do that. So I'll shred the spinach. So this spinach now, you didn't do anything else to it? You didn't, it's just you know? a, a, a thorough cleaning. Yeah. And after then, put it in here. All right, fantastic. So you didn't do all those hot water blanching? No, 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 you don't need that. It's a very, it's very, it's a very fragile you know, vegetable. Not butty. Eh, <laughs> it can't take it. It can't take the heat. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, it's, it's going to get too, mm -hmm. too soggy. So this, your snail, did you do anything to the snail? Yeah, this previously? has been washed, yeah. been thoroughly washed too, yeah. and it's been uh, a boiled. Oh, OK. So, like, so I just need to do a little step fair. Did you put anything in the water while you were parboiling yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to season it. So okay. it's going to be sweet, you know, right. that deep sweetness. <laughs> so is that salt and pepper or cube seasoning? Yeah, cube, cube, seasoning. cube seasoning. You know, just, you just have right. to use your favorite. So what's that uh, plantain looking like right now? Yeah, I'm trying to just get it softened. Okay. This is the right plantain. It and, has a lot of And iron. I can see that the palm oil yeah, is standing palm oil, by. Yeah. So what, what are we doing with the palm oil right now? I'm going to step fry the prawn and the... Uh, All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, Let's do this. Use this as All right, yeah. Your water. Yeah, the water's tea. off. I can use that for my tea a bit later on. Let me just allow it to get a little bit. Mm-hmm. 
eat so you can get that fry. <clears throat> so I didn't see like any extra onions. So you're not frying mm, onions. In the I oil have a little extra onion that I'm okay. going to put in here. All right. Mm. Okay, that's it. Back yeah, there, yes? I just, okay. Mm, all right. All right. Yeah. So we just do the normal fry the onions thing, and then we add step in. Fry the, we step fry the snail and the prawns. Beautiful. So you now put it back here when this is dry. That's why mm. you now chill to get that fry feel. Right. Once it's getting dried, we're gonna put this right in there. Butty inside, and we're good. All right. So I know people are wondering how it's gonna go down if they try it at home. If you want to try it at home, please do. These are the ingredients that you need. So you have to get some really nice seafood options. You can choose fish, crabs, snails, prawns, crayfish. Uh, you can also add in some. Uh, oyster sauce as well for that extra seafood flavor. Now, of course, there's salt in there. There's onions, pepper that were blended with some oibo garlic, <laughs> mashed garlic. <laughs> the, the locust beans are very important for yeah. Ekoriro. It gives it just, that... Just like the, just the way the oyster sauce is necessary yeah. to yeah. give you that seafood feel, mm -hmm. the same way you need the locust beans to drive you to that local... Yeah. A four year old, you know. Flavor. So yeah? You need to be in the two. So, are we throwing that in the pan right now? Is it hot enough? The onions first. Onions first. You okay. need to get, from there, Let's you need this. to get the kitchen sound. Mm, that yeah, kitchen that. sound. Cheese. <laughs> Don't worry, we will be hearing it very, very soon. Meanwhile, MM is on the couch and we have a very, very interesting guest. Yes, I do. And he's a friend of the family. Uh, it's such a pleasure to have Hero Janel with us. He's a TV host, compare, funny man, lot of the games, and so much more in the making. Hello, Hero. Hello, how are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I think you? I like the funny man parts, you know, yeah, yeah, much more than... You know. The all the rest, right? <laughs> because we, we have the we already have the ching 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 exactly. ching coming in. So oh, yes. how have you been? What's going Good. on? Good. Um a bit stressed. You um, look it. Oh yeah, but I hope I hope you can't see it. Because <laughs> I have a lot of my girlfriends watching right now. Right. So, yeah, right. I don't want them to dump me after the show. So, uh, yeah. don't worry. I don't think they would. I don't think they would. So tell us, you have this huge project coming on soon. Um Hero Dano live with friends how is that coming on has preparations for it tell us about it okay so yeah that's that's one of the reasons why I'm stressed um, but in a good way so yeah we've been rehearsing back to back um, it's my first one-man comedy show yeah um, I've been doing stand-up for four years now so I finally felt it was time for me to sort of you know introduce my brand to the world as a comedian Damn. so a lot of people know me as a television host as exactly. a content creator exactly. so and I'm like I've been doing the stand-up comedy thing, you know, for years now. So I do the comedy clubs, I, I do the small events, um, all leading up to the big stage. You know what I mean? Preparation is very key. I didn't just want to just sort of enter the industry. I didn't mm. want to be mediocre. I needed to find myself. I needed to find my style, and that's exactly what I've done. All right, so the thing is, um, to be honest, when I um, heard about your events, I was a bit surprised, because I'm like, <laughs> Hero Daniels is not a comedian. Uh, so, okay, well. yes, you do comedy skits, but yeah. the, making comedy skits and being a comedian, I, I believe, are two different things, because I've heard comedians say, oh, I know I'm not a... a an online um, skit Instagram maker. skit maker, <laughs> you get. So yeah. I just pegged you as an Instagram skit maker okay. and, you know, to find out that you've actually been doing comedy for a long time. Yeah. I mean, yeah. tell us, what gave birth to, you know, that part of you as a comedian? Uh, to be, I've always been a comedian all my life. So I've not just taken it seriously. Okay. I have not just monetized it. I have not just said, you know what, I'm going to make this a money spinner for me. So TV has been kind to me. So I always get, oh, Hero, we have this gig for you and we have this amount of money for you. And then there's, ah, there's supper in the country. You have to go for what's paying you. <laughs> you know, so, but like I said earlier, you know, comedy was more or less like a hobby for me, something okay. I just do with my friends, you know, go to the small comedy clubs. But I decided to just, you know, make it a proper brand. Okay. And then stand-up comedy is different from skits making, mm. you know. So um, when stand-up comedians say, I'm not a skit maker, it's just for you to know the difference because a lot of people, you know, think that, oh, if you can do skits, you can do stand-up. They're two different things. Exactly. You know, when you're doing stand-up comedy, it's like it's a live examination. Mm -hmm. You're writing the examination mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. people are marking what? you. Exactly. So if they don't laugh, 
then you're not probably that, doing that's, well. That's what motivates you as a comedian. Exactly. So it's, it's live feedback. And trust me, the thrill is second to none. It's literally the holy grail of comedy. Wow. So yeah, I mean, making people laugh and you, you do your setup, have your punchline and they laugh. Trust me. Now epic. let's talk about international comedy, yeah. comedians. I mean, I'm not a fan of, I, I'm not a fan of international comedy to be honest. Yes, mm -hmm. so I hear a lot of black people do comedy, but if a white person steps on stage, I'm like, mm, it's not the <laughs> at all. Yeah, but if, there are any, if there's any comedian on that level that you'd like to work with or collaborate with, yeah. would it be? I, I think every single comedian now wants to collaborate with Dave Chappelle. He's like the godfather the of, of the comedy moment now. now, right? Um, but my brand is more likened to Joe Coy. Um, there's this Asian comedian. He's not so popular. He's popular, okay. popular, but not so popular over here. Okay. So yeah, Joe Coy is, 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 is someone I really want because I, I feel there's a lot I have in common with him. Mm, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. All right. So um, yeah, we've heard enough comedy. <laughs> one, you know, uh, period. Now let's talk about you personally. And um, how's it been? There was some, um, there was just going around speculations here and there in the air, you know, about your relationship with your father. Tell us about that. Oh, well, that... Yeah, my father is my father. Yeah. <laughs> For starters, uh, my best friend, um, okay. he's my guy. Mm -hmm. He's more my guy than my father. You know oh, what I mean? Okay. He's, he's someone I just... good, good relationship. Yes, a fantastic right. relationship. So, okay. um, yeah, my safe space. And, um, yeah, he's very excited about the projects too. Okay. And, you know, he's doing all he can to make sure he supports me. Okay. And then by next year, I'll be bringing him to Lagos for my next show. Oh, you know. fantastic. He has more fans so than I do. So it's going to be like a father-son comedy. You know, you know, uh, you know, you know. That's just going to be great. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. So now, if you were to, um, I know, I know. This does not in any way. I'm not in any way trying to put you in a tight spot here. No, it's fine. It's fine. But I, I can if you were to compare it. your comedy skills to that of your dad, who would you say is funnier? He's, he's funnier. He's way funnier. Like I can't even compete. Like he's naturally, he's a natural. Okay. You know, he doesn't even stress it. I have to write jokes. He doesn't have to so write jokes. So do you jokes. think that you got some of those straight from him or it was something, or did you feel somewhat, com you know, un compelled or under somewhat kind of pressure that could, because your dad, you know, does it or in that line, you also want to, you need to do it. Okay, so my dad does not do comedy professionally. He's yeah, actually an engineer, mm -hmm. you know, um, and, uh, and uh, he's, a, he's a professor in the school. So like he's a serious academic, like he's an academician. Like, in total. So he just does comedy. Um, it's because I just compel him to be like, oh, let's do this, let's do that. And then he just sort of steps up to the moment. Well, okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, first of all, he never actually wanted me to be a comedian. The first time I told him I wanted to be co a comedian, he, he looked at me and was like, <laughs> that's the first joke, right? Because <laughs> he didn't know he was real. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. Um, he supports me now, but I mean, no African parents really want their Kids yeah, kids to be a comedian, be, yeah, you know. I understand. But now that he's a major money spinner, you know. Um, oh, it is? Yeah, it is. Oh, great. Tell yeah. us about that. Because I've always been like, uh, I know that, so there's the Instagram mm. um, reality, and then there's real reality. Comedians are, comedians are some so, of the most paid talents in the country. Okay. I, I can't even... Is I, that I why you wanted to go into it? Money? Yeah. Uh, well, that's part of the reasons. Okay. Uh, uh, yes. You, you want me to say, oh, it's passion. <laughs> oh, I'm so passionate about it. And that's why, oh, come on. Yeah, money is, is really part of it. Oh. I'm just kidding. It's passion. <laughs> it's not passion. It's passion. It's, it's passion. All no. right. Yeah, so I have enjoyed a couple of your mock skits with um, this particular character yeah, where we're watching Lexto, right yeah, now. That's Lex. us impersonating yeah, P-Square. Yeah, and I actually, why P-Square, though? Well, very, we're passionate fans, you know, even though that rude boy blocked us. But now that they are back, we're hoping that, please, you should use your church mind, you know, um, and unblock us, me and Nexto, <laughs> you know. So, because uh, when we started the whole Peace Quest kids, you know, yeah. it's just passionate fans making content about their favorite duo and trying to make sure they come back. And I think we achieved our mission. So now Peace Square is back. So Peace Square. Well, really, well, that was me. that the initial motive? Yeah, of course. Was that the plan? Did you guys sit down while you were, you know, planning, you know, um, all of the, you know, skits, while you guys yeah. were putting that together? Was that intentional to, you know, bring them together after that? The storylines, everything. Oh, the, we did a skit on Miss You Die. We're telling each other we miss each other mm -hmm. and we can't wait to come back. 
you know, we had another session. So it was, if you follow the storyline, if you follow the series of the skits, it was all leading up to like a makeup and it finally happened. So all yeah. Right, so are you happy about that? Did you I, actually think the, that they were going to come back? I didn't. I, I think it was a shocker. You know, it was it was a huge shocker for everybody. Okay. You know, um, I also feel like they also needed to make December money. You know what I'm saying? Especially now that they uh -huh. do. Aha. They be doing. Y'all said, oh, send me one million. Everybody was just sending me one million. <laughs> they said, Anna, hey, Peter, Paul, and now let's come back together. All right. And, uh, in, let's make the money. I would like to also let's check out some of your videos and then um, we'll get right back to it. Let's watch this. Yeah. Who puts together the lyrics? Uh, Nexto. Nexto is a creative genius. He's okay. a producer. He's an artist. Yeah, so Nexto is all brilliant. Right. Wishing you all the best. Nexto will be performing at your comedy show, right? Of course. We, right. have, a, we have a beat we're doing on Peace Quest. Oh, so, yeah. fantastic. Watch Looking forward for to that. Thank you so much for being here, Ariel. Thank Kira. you so Wishing much you for having me. And thank you so much for the support. And I hopefully we'll it. see you on Netflix next, right? I mean, if they can pay me, why not? All right. Yeah, I mean, uh, not me, the host now. You know All stuff. right. <laughs> <laughs> we got to go now. Um, let's go on a quick break. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Yeah. A wise man once said that attitude beats and eats up circumstances like mama <laughs> for breakfast oh, really? every single time. I don't know the wise man. I just know the wise man said it. But that's how we do it. Eat up uh, all the energy that we can bring here on our Friday show. It's a Friday mode and we got it on. Mm, you need to put on your very best look for a day like this mm. because it's really bright. You might need that sunshade, you know, to show you how beautiful things actually are in the definitely, world. Definitely, definitely. Welcome yeah. to uh, the final 45 minutes of the show. And as always, it's never a dull moment. Mm -hmm. Chef Natural has, man, I just tasted Smoke mama like this. Mm. The mama, it have soaked the, ju the juice, the juices. It is so nice and all of that. But, and uh, Princess Amulika is there with <laughs> Chef wow. Patra. Mike, and Mike, again. please. <laughs> Mike, I'm really. not a princess, I'm a queen. Oh! oh. oh. The notes. queen of Ooh, Kudikila. Yeah. Thank you, very much. <laughs> you know you're a queen. Thank Twally. you, baby girl. Thank you. MM, MM is glistening in all her glory there. Thanks, uh, with dear. Chef Natural, and things are going down in that kitchen. Yes, again. it is. That mm -hmm. Eforiro looks good, Chef. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Kilo D. Yes, so. Mm -hmm. Are we There's... eating veggies or are we eating the seafood? Don't worry, those veggies are <laughs> There's so good. much going on in there. It looks really beautiful. It, it looks does. really beautiful. It does. Well and done. I'm sure it tastes amazing as well. Uh, uh, we have to start the next hour of mm. the show. Now, my name is Titilaya Oinson. I'm Mike Messicano. Now, interact with us across all social media platforms. It's at TVC Connect. Yes, indeed. Of course, you can watch us absolutely anywhere. We big shout out to our e-community who downloaded our app. You can get it to Google Play or iOS. Mm. Uh, okay. Uh, we have Femi Ujugbemi, a Nigerian documentary filmmaker, script uh, uh, screenwriter, cinematographer, director, producer and photographer. He's behind notable works such yeah. as Tintel, Mama Put, mm. Maroko, mm. Battleground and so, so much more. He's also uh, the founder of IREP Film Festival and we'll be talking about that and a little bit more when we get to talk to him. It's game day! I'm hey, going to play mind game. So wow. we're going to play mind game today. Okay. <laughs> mind game. So just and start I getting ready. Mind does not feel but, <laughs> but, but, but there's also another great addition to our games today. We'll be having mm. Hero Daniels mm. join yes. us. Mm. He'll be joining us. And, and if you can remember, mm. uh, during the lockdown, he mm. had this amazing mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. online game thing he was doing with okay. on his handle. Okay. And right. it became very, very popular. Okay. So it would be really great to see what we can come up with uh, mm -hmm. with today's game. Uh, all right. Yeah. So, you, you know, uh, two things I wanted to uh, talk about. I don't know how much time we have, but a, a Kenyan artist called out Afrima for, mm. you know how it is, lack of organization, logistics, major problems. But 
in spite of all that he called out for, the number one thing which I picked out is that Afrima is not really Afro centric. It's not Afro inclusive. Mm. It is ninety five percent Nigeria. Oh, mm. wow. Yeah. He, 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 okay. he, he mentioned a lot of how from the nominations to even when we went for the party, he said 98% of the songs were Nigerian songs. They, they, they were asking them questions about Nigerian music. Mm. This is supposed to be African. Ask me about my own song. I'm coming mm. from Kenya, coming from Uganda, I'm coming from East Africa. And, you know, and then he, he, he mentioned a lot. The point is this. We've seen this happen a number of times. We need to understand that we have to be inclusive, and that's why the awards. We talk about the Grammys and the Oscars. Yeah, that's why they are inclusive. Yeah. Yeah. If we want to get to that place, we mm -hmm. have to learn to be inclusive. Yeah. yeah, true, true. And a lot of different artists came from around Africa, mm -hmm. and they showed up. Mm. So they did. If they, did. they did show up. Then we should uh, do what we can to make sure that they feel as welcome as possible and and as included as possible. Mm. Um, but you know, you can't stop Nigerian music from going global. Nigerian music has the potential to connect with different Africans in different, different African countries. And it seems to be the biggest music industry okay, so right, right now in now, Africa. It's not about it seems Nigerian to be that music exactly, that's being it. big. It's I'm just, not, I'm it's just not a it. focus here. Exactly. We know that it is. But yeah, we what know we're it just is. saying exactly. is that there are other musicians all around Africa. Africa. So they should also be celebrated. They should be recognized. On point. That is it. That's I feel like, they, I feel like if Nigerian saying. music is as popular as it is, so then we don't care they should ride on it. So we don't care if Davido is yeah. global. We don't care if Whiskey is global. That's it. Also put us on the African map because we are also contributing to the music. No, no, no. The Please give them two uh, But the issue I have <laughs> now is if you visit those African countries, <laughs> what you hear is Nigerian music. That's and not true. They also have their own music. You do hear a lot of Nigerian music. Of course, you will hear, but look, it's a free man, not Nigerian. And artists, when they go to those countries, they're celebrated. So I'm just saying, yes, African music has been put on the map more by Nigerians in recent times. So whoever than that some Kenyan artist countries. is, we hear you. Yeah. The number your and voice is being heard. They had to, they had to put out an A for me. Look, this is not about... See, you called it Afrima. Mm. You didn't come to celebrate Nigerian, Nigerian music. You came music, to celebrate yeah. African music. Yeah. You have to... I mean, it's just like a big brother yeah. telling his sister and because I'm the one that's bringing all the money. You My junior you sister. Know, no, you know, it's, it's wrong. actually very similar to the very Channel wrong. O Awards. Yeah. Because you know why a lot of um, um, people appreciated the Af Channel O Awards? It's because it actually acknowledged... a lot, sorry, recognized a lot of African artists. Artists, exactly. It... I mean, Channel O did so much for African music. Mm. It actually did. It actually literally put African music on the global map. Mm. That was what Channel O did. Mm. And Africa is coming out to fill in that space. So it has to be felt and it has to be done intentionally. Yes, I've been hanging out with Chef Natura in the kitchen. And it's been one of those days where you just want to see the finish walk. Finish walk. And uh, if you can see... Uh, inside the pan right now, the spinach has all but disappeared because the seafood has engulfed everything. Goodness me. All right, it's looking bright, colorful. Uh, is it, it's not exactly done yet. You remain small, right? It's ready. It's ready? Okay. All right. So let's uh, see how... Uh, let's move the pan in. Okay. All right. You got it? You want to just... Yeah. Look at that. Oh, nice. Okay. So we have snail in there. We have prawns in there. We have crab. We also have some round fish in there as well. And we can't forget the pomo. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go. All right. So I am really, really, really happy that this all came together well. And this looks good. Wow. Really good. All right, let's go. Yeah. And the good thing about it, you can eat with Anything. swallow, mm -hmm. you can do rice. Yes. Yeah. So I'm, I'm looking at the unripe plantain. Um, you, you boiled that as well. Yeah. Right? I'm looking at the yellow color. It's just so bright, you know. I, That's the natural vibe. It's the natural vibe. <laughs> what did you put inside the water? It was just, just salt. Just salt. Just, just a salt, salt yeah? yeah. And then you peeled that. So if I have my swallow, I'm set. I also feel like I can I can eat some nice bread with this, isn't it? 
Oh, eh? oh, bread. <laughs> you know? Yes, now you use the bread, and you know you when you press the bread, and you now scoop You're it. You're not thinking maybe yeah. like fufu. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> but if you want to try this at home this weekend, this is the list of ingredients you will need to get. You probably have some of these handy at home already. Of course, uh, we have fish, crabs, snails, onions, pepper, prawns, crayfish. The spinach is very key, but you can use any vegetable of your choice. Uh, palm oil is right in there. Cow skin, a.k.a. Pomo. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oyster sauce. Locust beans, very important. Ew. And some mashed garlic. It didn't take long at all to put together, no. and it looks and smells delicious. Ooh, I just wish I could taste it right now. I wish I could. I wish I could. Mm -mm -mm. But at this point, we're going to be, you know, trying to wrap up and make sure that Mike doesn't come and steal this pomo mm -hmm. like he tried <laughs> earlier on. So I need to secure this port. But yeah. at this point, let's take a quick break. We'll be back after this. We're joined by Femi Udubemi, a Nigerian documentary filmmaker, screenwriter, cinematographer, director, producer, photographer, storyteller. He has been behind, he's been behind so many notable works from Tintel, Mama Put, Morocco, Battleground, the brains behind multi-choice film factory. There is just so much. If I go on, I would not stop. It's great to have you, sir. You are very welcome. Thank you. You're it's a pleasure welcome. to be here. Thanks for yeah. inviting me. Uh, the, the, you, might not, you might not remember this one, but also, I, he's also credited with giving me my first role ever in a TV commercial. That was, that was DV Works quite a very <laughs> long time ago. I'd spoken about this. I remember the last time I spoke to him, 2015, six years ago, and it's such a pleasure to have you, it's sir. You are very, very welcome. Really good to see you. You've been involved in so much, but let me just start from the latest one. Um, you are your storyteller. And there is a need for storytelling, especially when, uh, you know, to address societal ills and things happening around. Uh, the trend of moving out, Jakba, which you already have now, it's also, we, we, we can feel that storytelling, you're trying to address something that is happening. Tell us about that project, which, of course, uh, has been making the waves. Uh, what is, what is, I, we know, yes, you want yeah. to address something, yeah. but what is your mindset behind it? How did Jakba come about? Well, Jakba is really the story of, of um, Africa's young people. Uh, we talk about how, uh, you know, oil is our big, um, uh, big resource. Yeah, resource. Uh, but in truth, uh, the youth of Africa are the, uh, Africa's best resource. Uh, we talk about how Africa is 60%, you know, young people. Nigeria especially. 60% mm. of our population are under the age of 50. Mm. Which means that we, we carry, um, you know, an incredible amount of resource, human resource, people can create, who can innovate, um, people who can take our country in a direction uh, of prosperity and, 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 you know, a fuller life. Mm. Um, but those people are discouraged. They, they are not buying into the country. They don't like what's going on. Opportunities is zero for them. Hope is like a scarce resource, which is why everybody wants to get out. And of course, if you feel, you know, a lack of opportunity in a space, your instinctive reaction mm. is to leave. Mm. And I brought this up in a storytelling form so that Nigeria pays better attention to this fact. Wonderful. Why do our young people, our future, why do they not want to be here? They don't want to be here because we have failures of infrastructure. We have institutional failures. We have things that, that you know, impede their dreams. If we can deal with those, they will stay. Look mm. at what happened with NSARS, mm. the way it was organized, how technology played a part, how seamlessly they were able to articulate a different kind of future. Mm. You know, and... and, 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 and you know, everybody admired what happened. I mean, obviously before, before you know, the rowdiness at the end. And so for me, Jakbai's uh, movement, Jakbai is a story of these young people. Mm. Is how do we come to a place of understanding of why they want to go. Mm. But it's also a story about what the cost of it is. Because what, a lot of young people also are thinking of leaving without calculating the cost. Mm. It's not simple, and it's not free of pain. And the question is, can we create a continent, a country, 
that does not uh, invite our best resources mm. to escape. All right. To go I, away. I, I, you know, this uh, brings me to the next question. Why are you so passionate about the young people? Because I know that, I mean, I, you, you, you created a platform, IREP, which you also used to celebrate the young people documentary filmmaking, which has been on for about 11 years now. We, and I've seen you at different points in time talking about the young people pushing, heralding. What, what, what birthed that passion? Well, I, I'm always about the future. I, I think it's always foolish to concentrate on the past. Mm. You can't do anything about it. Uh, the present is your only opportunity to shape the future. And so for me, the best resource going into the future is your human resource. There is really nothing about the future that is not shaped by humanity, by the quality of mind that, that will be there. Mm. And for me, regardless of whether we're talking politics, we're talking um, arts, we're talking in whatever sphere, uh, technology, um, the future is about young people. Mm. Um, and the future is about the tools that young people need to create a different and a better future. And, that's and that tool for me is always technology. Mm. And, and when you combine the energy of the young, the, 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 the imagination, the innovation, and you combine it with the enablement of technology, mm. you're actually shaping the future when you support the dreams and hopes of young people. And that is what you're doing with the multi-choice talent factor. Yes. Let's talk about that. We can see images of Jaqua here. A number of people have graduated and they're moving on to great things yeah. and all of that. That should really make you very happy and proud. Well, multi-choice talent factory delights me greatly because mm. you know we gather together 20 incredibly talented young people. Um, you, you must understand the process of selection. I mean, you get like 2,000, 3,000 entries, oh. and we're selecting 20. But those 20, it's a residential. Those 20, uh, you know, they're paid to actually study. Those 20 are people who are already creating. They're already storytelling. Uh, those 20 have a clarity about their future. So when we bring them together for one full year, we create, you know, um, a, a, a pool where they can network, they mm. can, you know, exchange ideas. ideas. But we also give them an unusual um, curriculum that, that gives them a sense of how the business of the business works, that, you know, gives them a sense of how storytelling works, not just in our environment, but everywhere. Mm. Uh, you know, storytelling is, is global. Storytelling has conventions. It it's is. actually technically easy. Um, it, to learn, um, but there are many things that people need to learn about storytelling. Story it's actually power. And, and it's not just that you're telling a story, it's what kind of stories you're telling. You've mentioned that before and, in the no. previous interview. You said the right choosing, researching, finding the right kind of story to tell. That mm -hmm. is something that our industry as Nollywood can use and move forward. What do you see about the future of Nollywood? With all of this, with all that you are putting in, with all that people like you are putting in, mm -hmm. how far can we go? Uh, where can we where can we get up to? What is the future objectively for Nollywood? There's no stopping. I mean, it's it's uh, the sky's the limit. Why? Because we kind of have like a perfect storm. We have an incredible number of young people who are genuinely talented. Mm. They're really talented, and I'm talking about in front and behind the screen, screen. The, the camera. Um, now we're beginning to concentrate as well on training. Everywhere you turn, you'll find young people are going to film school, they're going to art school. They're creating, they're energetic, they're innovative. As long as we continue to do that, the future for Nollywood is, you know, there's no limit. Mm. Because essentially, the currency is innovation and creativity. creativity. But the greatest resource we have is that we have a, a, a pool of stories. Africa is where everyone is looking for us to tell our story now, globally. And, and we, we have like a, a heritage of storytelling. Uh, we have a really great literary culture, really? which we, are, we, we have to connect to our film culture. And uh, we're beginning to do, to that. do that. But what do you think about, uh, because there's a recent trend of remix yes. happening in Nollywood of the old, uh, what are your thoughts about that? Have been, uh, shouldn't we be telling entirely new stories? Why do we need to go back? to the past to pick up those ones that, you know, enthuse us while we're growing up? Well, that comes with building an industry. Okay. I mean, obviously, okay. every time that, that an artist does a work, mm. 
and the artist grows. The artist always thinks, I can do that work better. And, and mm. they have to have the liberty to do that. To do that, um, okay. I think there's enough stories being told that are fresh, that, are, that there is room for retelling of stories. Okay. But where I think the trick is, is that the retelling does not have to be by the original mm. storyteller. Okay. There are ways in which, you know, other people can also take a story that's being told mm. and retell it from their own perspective. perspective. Stories are eternal. And, and for me, I think that's really one of the things that, um, you know, we're learning from that, is that you can take a story from, and it's being done everywhere, Hollywood does that, mm. you know, uh, the Chinese film industry does that, India's film industry does that. Mm. So there's nothing we're doing that's, that's sort of wrong. Okay. Um, the, the trick is not to stop creating fresh things okay. and to make those connections as well to stories that come from, you know, our novels, mm. to stories that come from our folklores, um, and obviously to stories that connect, you know, with what's going on also today, because I, I do think that in many ways, the, um, a lot of our stories are, are not reflecting the challenges of our environment. I mean, mm. we can't have this sort of challenges in governance, challenges in infrastructure, challenges, you know, in so many areas, um, issues, and um, the majority of our films are love stories and, and comedies. Mm. There has to be a way in which our film industry, you know, leads the way um, on some of the issues of our time. Wonderful. So you are such a reservoir of knowledge. I could sit down here for hours and hours, but then you know how it is on TV. We will still have you around. We have something for you prepared. And we'll talk about the, the Orange Academy and I rep a little bit, but we'll just have to take a break now. It's always a pleasure. Film with Dubemi is still around. We'll have a very, uh, you know, much later, of course, he'll be here to uh, get to our kitchen. We'll just take this time out now. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Welcome back now. Thank you for staying with us. We have all our guests here, wonderful people that we have today. We have the great legend himself, mm -hmm. the quintessential mm. filmmaker, storyteller, mm. Femi Odubemi, right yeah. there. It's great to have him. And of course, you know that this is two generations, like all yes, different sir. generations <laughs> of love. The upcoming ones and the ones that are paving the way for us. Oh, Thank yeah. you so much, sir. Thank you, Hero Daniels. And of course, MM. MM yes. with the mind games. MM is ready for us today. <laughs> Shall we give you some insights? Um, mm. uh, okay, so... Uh, You've given an expo. How? Okay. Uh, How? Which one is insight? Insight. Well, what was I one... insight and this one oh, that I'm saying now? Said she well, give you some insight. Titi, you are here, repping the Oyinso clan, yeah. Yeah. the dynamite. <laughs> You're ready to... Uh -uh. Let's go there. Let's go there. She's All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're just doing very... We're just going to play a very simple game, right? Mm. You know how they did this concentration game? Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh. You would know how it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to play just very simple. <laughs> I'll give you an insight. I'll give you just very short, uh, some seconds, so that I can think of what you're going to say mm. and where we're going to go. We'll go like this and just continue going around. See mm. one person drops, and then we'll go like that for different categories, <laughs> uh, and then okay. we'll find the winner at the end. Uh. <laughs> so very simple. Are we ready? Okay, let's just do a test run. Oh, let's do a test run. Me. And we'll do colors. This okay. one's a test run, so I can know okay. how it runs. We'll just do colors. This is test run, no? Is it okay. actually big colors? Or uh, any color, colors? Primary no. colors. But don't say cockroach one? brown. What? <laughs> <laughs> or palm wine green. Okay. <laughs> That's All not right. a color. Okay, just let's do colors. Are you ready? Okay, colors. City go. Blue. Red. Indigo. <laughs> Yellow. Mint, black, brown. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. So that's it. So when Wait, if we drop, seconds? we just have like one second. Just chop, chop, one chop, chop. One we second. Have to go so okay. we go like that until we get a winner for every category. Is that that's simple enough, but right? There's yeah. a catch. What's the catch? Mike is going to do something to distract us. I can oh, see okay. it. Like, I am not going to because I'm anchoring. I would not. How would I do it? I would, I would, I would win everything if I, if I do so. All right, so are we ready? Yeah. Are we good? Go ahead. So our first category. This is going to be quite very simple. First category, we will go for hmm. animals. Are okay. you ready? Titi, go. Bears, rats. Dog. Dog. Hero, nice okay. one. So three of you now, right? Okay, okay. 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 so we'll go like this. Uh, three of you, right? Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. We'll go for plants. Oh. Plants. Okay. All right, Titi, hey, wait, go. Wait, wait, Roses. Uh, wait, what? I love the rats. <laughs> You said wait and I then. Said aloe vera. Uh, calm down. Yeah, aloe vera. Yeah, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Let's do another category. Oh, no. You know this category now? Oh, no, no, no. Let's continue with plants. Let's go with plants. Oh, yeah, plants. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Go. Plants. Lilies. Aloe vera. Eggplants. Roses. Indigo. <laughs> Indigo. <laughs> Indigo. 
Okay, you know what? Okay, let's do states in Nigeria. Hey! Okay, so, ah, are you ready? Five, Five, six, six, seven, go! Ondo. Lagos. Abuja. Uh-uh. Abuja, oh, Abuja, 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 African Magic Production. Ah! Uncle Femi is starting this one. All of you ready? Oh, no. Are you ready? All right. No. Are you ready? How is it going this it's way? Just, it's going this way. Okay. It's going this way. Okay. Okay. African Magic Productions. Ha. Go. Movement, Jakpa. Tinsel. Um, and I hear. Uh, uh, <laughs> you missed it. Uh, All right, so three of you. We're still going with African uh, Magic Productions. Because uh, Titi didn't get to say anything. Okay. Yeah. So we'll still go like I this. I didn't even uh, Africa uh, uh, Magic Productions. Are we starting from this? Uh, no, no, you're not. Uh, house. Okay. You're out. I don't even know if because I even have one. M, M, N, A, okay. is not a You don't even have one. Okay. All right, are we ready? From Ogo Femi, are we ready? Go. Battleground. Love Comeback. Is it Dingo? Is it Dingo? Final showdown. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Dingo? Yes, no. Which Africa? Dingo was not an African. It's Africa magic. No, 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 no. Africa. No, 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 no. It's no, no, no. It was in South Africa. Yes. Teacher has missed that one. Company. Teacher has missed that one. Okay. So all right. So just two of you now. Just two of you now. Can I win? Can I win on Kofemi in this? You can. You can. In fact, you already won. Keep it up. I'm out of shows now. Give us more shows. Let's get started. Okay. So I was still doing African magic production. Yes. Oh, good. Okay, yeah, let's give you let's give them 10 seconds to breathe. Ah, okay, oh, yeah, let's, yeah. Go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, yeah. He seems so ready. Look at this. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Hero, are you ready? Yep. Uh, Uncle Femi, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. Africa Magic Productions. Dr. Scottus. Love comeback. <laughs> <laughs> he had a great yeah. comeback. You got one two rounds, so actually the comeback part. <laughs> <laughs> but are you supposed you to mention the same? Name twice. No, you can, you can. I wish you could take one more segment, but no, just before we do that, we'll be talking. You'd ask you, we're talking to Uncle Femi about uh, Orange Academy. That's uh, what he's been up to. Mm. Uh, let's we'll get to see a little bit of uh, okay. the works he has done. But Uncle Femi, Orange Academy, just a very, what is it all about? Well, it's a branding institution. It's 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 a thinking, mm. new thinking institution for brands and communication. Okay. Uh, it's been around for ten years. Uh, we just had an immersion. Uh, people learn what we call logic and magic. Okay. And it's it's a, a lot of our students are working in different areas of the economy, but you know, focusing on how to build brands, how to tell stories, and how to create a marketing connection mm. uh, to consumers. All right, Amazing. wonderful. Amazing. I rep, I rep, what's, up I rep, what's the latest we're coming forward to? Well, I rep is, is a documentary film forum. It's about okay. empowering people to tell stories in mm. real time, their own stories, and obviously stories of what's going on in the world through their own eyes. Mm. Uh, we empower young people to tell these stories uh, as against, you know, fictional stories, mm. to tell stories that intervene, you know, in what's going on in the country, to tell stories that create change. A lot of the work you saw during NSARS, people, you know, that's really what I read was truly about. So it's an empowerment forum for young people to tell their stories, to intervene in modern and, you know, Wonderful. current affairs. Wonderful, wonderful. We, honestly, All right. we'll be so looking Titi? out for it. All right. um, but there's something to the kitchen? we've been looking out for, and it's what? How we're gonna have a great time yeah, in the kitchen. Okay, Chef sure. Natural. Yeah, we have something for you. Standing oh, no, no. by. Yeah. All right. You can go. Yeah, go. I saw How stuff about bananas. How did you even know I did not this morning? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Please take a seat. Oh, okay. That's for you, and this oh. is for you. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Right there. <laughs> All right, so Chef Natura has okay. been hard at work, very Ooh. hard at work. And um, when it comes to putting special dishes together, mm. we always have a blast with him. Uh, as you can see, it's <laughs> colorful, it has seafood in there, and some special spinach and unripe plantain. <laughs> All right, so hopefully you tried it at home. At least you see what it's supposed mm. to look like. Now let's have them have a taste and tell us what they think. 
Aha. Aha. Oh, All right, gee. go ahead, go ahead. Mm, okay. Please have it. Mm. Well, um, what if I was fasting? Oh, <laughs> I should have asked, actually. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Hmm. Made by a chef. Yes, it was. This and is very nice, thank And you. he's happy with that response as well. <laughs> thank you so much. What about you? You know, as a bachelor, almost every food tastes good. <laughs> okay. But this tastes better oh. than the mama food I used to buy. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. All right, then at this point, we have to wrap it up. It's been an amazing week, everyone. Uh, Mike, MM. Bye bye. In Bye-bye. all their glory. We're going to be back 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, or rather Monday morning, mm. everyone. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye.